so going on from the last video, um, we obviously established, unfortunately, this beehive. They didn't make it through um, through winter. Um, and it's a real shame because they were they were flying within a couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago, they were still flying out. So they'd made it through winter. I think it's a cold snap we had. So I spoke with um, a few people and done some research on the internet and it looks like it's a classic example of isolation starvation so if you come come and have a look here you can see you can see how the bees are clustered around here so some of them have fell off but basically what they've done is it's got a, we've had a cold snap and they'll they'll huddle together bees and they're basically yeah, apparently is it's a natural phenomenon and it's so frustrating because they've They've huddled all together there, and if you look at this, there's no food on this frame. So these ones here, these this is this biscuit coloured stuff is eggs. So they've started laying, but all of this is honey. So if they'd gone here, they would have been absolutely fine. So it's absolutely gutting, is what it is. Um, they've just yeah, they're basically just. Um, They've huddled down, they've huddled together to stay warm and because of where they've huddled there's no food and then they've just starved to death um, which is super tragic especially when look this is all honey there I mean look come here look see I'll show you I'll scrape a bit here so that's all honey there and they would have been fine so if they'd been on this frame they would have they would have been absolutely fine but they went on this one for some reason and it's really sad because when you look at these, there's like bums sticking up here. So you see all these. So they're basically really trying to go down to get food. So they're looking for it. But there is not, I don't know. But yeah, I have Googled it. So isolation starvation, it's called. Um, and yeah, super sad if they're, I mean, yeah, you just, there's nothing you can really do about it. Um, if they were bigger, so it wasn't a particularly big colony, maybe that's a factor. They went going into winter. There were there was lots of them, so it was a strong colony. But um, if there was more of them, they'll cover a bigger area. So I suppose with that mind. So if you think about it, they're only a small area. Whereas if they were bigger, there's more likely that they'd encounter food. So there is that aspect to it, but um, I mean, when I was looking on the internet about it, there's examples where even on the frame that they're on, there's honey, but because they were just in that pocket, they didn't expand to it. So I suppose it's like, I suppose it's a bit like, imagine you're really hungry, but you're really snuggly and you don't want to move. You know, you really, like getting up in the morning, you got to get up, but you don't want to because you're in your bed, but you're like, but I've got to get up because I'm hungry. And like, no, I'm just going to stay here. Is there any food in this bed? No. And then you just basically, you don't want to get out of the bed. It's a bit like that, really. So yeah, so what I'm going to do here, I need about 30 bees, which I'm going to collect in a jar. And the reason for this, I'm going to, um, I'm going to give them to my uh, friend, Phil B, who um, is uh, the master beekeeper, uh, king of the bees. And he'll have a look under a microscope. It looks, like I say, a pretty clear cut what's occurred. Uh, so sad. But he'll, what he'll do, he'll have a look under a microscope at them. And um, just make sure there's no diseases or anything like that. I think one of the things they do is you crush, you sort of crush them. And then grind them up. And basically what that'll do, you can see whether there's any parasites in the guts or anything like that. Uh, we want to make sure that there's no European fowl brood or anything like that. Uh, but I'd, I'd be quite surprised looking at it. But yeah, very sad. Very unfortunate. So I need about 30 bees. Collect them up and then, yeah. So that's a good one. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. But uh, these things happen, I suppose. There we go. But uh, yeah, sorry it's not been better news this year. I'm as disappointed as anyone. So uh, the plan going forward, obviously, we've made this great bee pen. We will get some bees. We will get some more bees. Um, so this, I've had these four years. And I think even, I mean, like, they, they were being supervised where they were. They were being kept an eye on. But unfortunately, you can't do a lot in winter. Um, 
But yeah, we'll, we'll get some new bees. You can buy bees off the internet, which is, seems crazy, and they just get delivered by post. So we're going to do that. We're going to look at doing that today, ordering some, get them in place, and uh, yeah. But still, it's just very sad, isn't it? Just very unfortunate. But I think, um, yeah, sometimes fate is uh, cruel. Such a shame. That started laying and everything. I'm very disappointed. But we shall we shall rise up from the ashes again. Uh, yeah, sorry. Still, still comment, like, and subscribe. Um, sorry, it's not better news. We'll, uh, well, I'll be able to show it. I'll be able to document... Silver lining is I'll be able to show you what happens now when we get it, how you start with the B frame you have a nuke So I can show you all from the start again. So that's quite exciting um, So at least there's that aspect to it try and get the try and find some positives from this uh, negative situation um, And yeah, let's see what happens and I'll let you know if there's anything else. So for example if it was uh, Any sort of disease or anything like that I'll let you know and uh but I think I think it's just a classic, classic case of isolation, starvation, which such an unnecessary, such an unnecessary death. But there we go, there we go. Anyway, uh, yes, thank you for watching. So it's not better news, and uh, yeah, if you want to comment, like, and subscribe, that'd be great. And uh, yeah, I'll have some new bees soon, hopefully. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, thanks very much. Sorry about it didn't work out.